Right. Hi guys, uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I wanted to create a video showing uh, an initial version of Alexa that we can use and you can extend to create more complicated lexers towards the creation of an interpreter. So I've, um, I've, I've tried creating code as you can see on the left and then we'll try to recreate it. I'll try to explain some things. Uh, but first, before I delve into the code, uh, I wanted to explain the, the theory por the theory portion so that we are guided. Uh, Lexer is what we will create in this video. However, the focal point is really an interpreter because that's what we want. That is the uh, an interpreter is that that thing that sort of functions like a programming language. Um, and then in order to create that. Um, we first must be able to have a lexer. Then we will try to pass the output of the lexer to a parser, and that's the only time we can actually oh, sorry control um, uh, undo. That's the only time we can interpret. So we are just here. So this video is sort of like uh, stage one of everything. And then uh, let me try to define what a lexer is. Essentially, what it does is it 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 processes a string and tokenizes it so that it has meaning. So um, process a string and uh, tokenize to assign meaning. So let me provide, let's try to provide an example. For example, we have uh, 7 plus 125.4. That is, or this whole thing, let me label it. This whole thing is called an expression. Um, expression. And then um, the tokens are the individual parts of the expression. The job of the lexer is to go through each individual character here, including the space, as you can see there, and try to make sense of them, and including the dot. And by making sense, we mean that by the end of the processing, the lexer, the lexer should be able to say, hey, in this expression, I have an int, one int, sorry, that's one int seven. I also have a plus symbol and I also have a float FLT that is with a value 125.4 okay that's it um, that's all Alexa does uh, assign meaning to arbitrary strings now let's try to now talk about the, the ingredients that we need in order to create a Lexer um, I've outlined it here. Sorry, let me let me look at my notes so that it's more streamlined. All right, what do we need? Um, before we can talk lexers, we need to first define a token class. And as I've tried to demonstrate at the upper right, a token class is just a pair, and the pair is composed of a type and a value yun and you can see it here saan yung type value ito, ito, ito. the type is this one yung int type is plus is, a, is an example of a type and this is also a type yung flow so ito 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 tong part na ito this one right here the value are these things so one two five and then seven those are z values okay now, um, the, the purpose of the token class and why we're trying to enclose it in boxes, because I'm not sure if this was also taught to you, but for classes, when you're trying to uh, flowchart a class, you, you use boxes for the heavy boxes denote the class. And its use, its intention is to represent tokens. That's all it does. We have to have this atomic um, thing, this atomic data type if you may want to think about it that way the, sure fine the, this atomic thing that would allow us to reason using the lexer and then um with 
with the tokens already set, what we can do now is to pass it to the Lexer class. Again, this is a class. And what the Lexer does, let's first set its intention. It just gets a string and returns tokens. That's all it does. So in order to do that, we need a few helper functions and the the first helper function actually is the initialization so the initialize function because it's a little bit special because we we define the position uh we, we define the position and that would mean the the lexer kasi would try to start here at this empty space before the first character that's actually your start point and the blank space uh after the 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 expression that you're trying to process is actually your end so um the position it's important that we set it to negative one call the advance method which is something that we will define inside the lecture class too so call the advance method try to take note of the current character because um the position is the index lang eh. it's the zero one two three four but the current character is really the character that the that the position index is pointing to. We need to take note of that and initialize it as well. Um, I'm forgetting something. Ah, hindi. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not forgetting something. So that's, that's the initialization step and the things that occur inside the initialization step make up what's unique about the lexer, yung mga positions and advancements of the position, plus taking note of the current character. And then the next thing we need to take note of is the gist Sorry, make token. Yeah, make tokens. That's a that's the gist of the um lexer class. Cause here um uh there is an issue there's an initialization step, but in the form of creating an empty list of tokens, cause it will try to return tokens later on, which is what we want. We want the string to be an input and then the output would be a list of tokens. Okay. And then, uh, isa na lang, one, one more helper function and I'll just place it here. Uh, we have to have a make number function also. Kasi this is important because as I've mentioned, Alexa will try to look at the characters one by one. Diba? And you can imagine uh, if I'm looking at this alibaba, itong digit 2, if I'm looking at two, sorry, sorry, wait, let's let's go for one. If I'm looking at digit one, um, and I only uh, convert that to int immediately, I'll be creating a token of int one. Eh, hindi naman yung yung number because the whole number is one two five point four. So there must be an intelligent way for me to make numbers out of the series of strings, and doing so in an accurate manner and which is why we have this make number uh, helper function and I'll try to tell you um, or I'll try to show you why there is a need for us to, to track the string representation of that number as well as uh, the dot count because I, I think this is a very basic programming one problem naman. Um, if the doubt uh, if we try to process uh, the expression if the dot count is one then we know that it's a float because my my decimal diba? and if the dot count is zero then we know that it is an int okay great now along with this uh siguro gusto ko sana blue rin pero um anyway orange na lang siguro just just to separate these two classes make up sort of like the main the main things that the the lexer needs meron tayong mga helper parang helper uh helpers <laughs> helper helper structures good for for us to be able to um make the lexer behave uh as accurately as if we want it to behave or as efficiently na lang so that hindi cluttered yung yung code inside the lexer class we'll try to out to off uh to offload some of the logic in these helper structures and ito yung actually ito yung, ito yung example first example is the digits 
So we have, uh, and this is the, at least in how, how we were taught, um, this is to denote that the digits is constant. So it's just a constant um, storage of 0 to 9 uh, numbers. Yun lang. We have other, we have another, uh, sorry, saan ko ba ilalagay? Dito na lang. We call it tokens. And the tokens, the tokens helper is just a constant of all possible token, sorry, token types that we want to include in the representation of our um, lexer. And now, once we have that, um, meron na lang tayong idadagdag that makes the, the, the lexer um, behave sort of more intelligently and that is uh, error handling. Yan. Handling. Which the code, you can, you can see in the screen naman. I'll explain what that does. And then after all of those things, we'll try to create uh, a runner yun a runner function or some books kasi they call it the driver the driver program and we'll, we'll try to um let you have an experience uh, so that you can see how that could be coded all right so yun just to summarize before i proceed we're we're gonna be creating interpreters pero the creation of interpreters kasi is split into three things first you need alexer which means that each character is going to be processed and meaning is to be created in the processing in the form of tokens. So input string, output tokens. Parser is when we try to um, process the tokens so that they behave in a meaningful manner, meaning nakaka-add ka na, nakaka-subtract ka na, etc., etc. And then interpreter is the point where the 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 tokens you can already assign to variables, you can already call functions, and all of those things. So for now, we're focusing on the lexer. Its input is a string. Its output is a set of tokens uh, arranged in a meaningful manner. Okay? So um, to, to give you a more concrete idea of what that does, I'll try to run this code muna, the code that we will try to recreate in this video. I'll try to run it muna, and then let's see. Um, how it behaves, and we'll try to replicate it from scratch. So, ang sabi dito, um, I, I I wrote this in Python so that um, it's it's a popular it's a popular language that you have been um, I think using in some of your earlier subjects, so it's quite familiar. And I'm 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 hoping na it it becomes uh, an easier way to access the knowledge that we'll try to talk about. So Python, I'll try to run shell dot py and then um you you may ignore this muna the the output talaga of shell.py is this one it's the prompt that asks you for something so the lexer that we have should be able to if i enter one it should be able to say hey i i know that one is an int and it gives us okay int yung one if i have 1.82 it knows that it's a float i know that it's a float nathan and um, if I have 1 plus 6, it knows that there's an int 1, there's a plus symbol, a plus token, and then there's an int 6. If I give it another um, way of, um, another order to the symbols, it should be also able to interpret that. So, nauna yung plus, and then we have the int 5, and then the int 6. And then... Um, uh, actually, uh, let me just sh show you what this is. Pero this is your exercise kasi I I'll stop before we implement this. Kasi look at this. If I have 5 plus F, it returns illegal character F. Yeah, it's it's your it's your lexer saying, ah, di ko naintindihan. Sorry, di nami yung maproseso. And so, uh, this is left as an exercise. I'll try to, di ko alam. Let, let's try to go, I'll try to go through the, the coding and then see if um, it would be apt to have this as your exercise. Okay. Um, uh, well, my clue na dito. <laughs> it has been displayed. But we, we will try to, <laughs> we'll try to um, ask you to recreate. Okay? So that's your lexer. Pero pa ba akong hindi napakitang um, uh, functionality? Wala naman. So I'll, I'll close this now.
All right, and then I clear the screen. All right, we're ready. So the first thing that we will try to create is um, your driver program. Ano no, medyo, medyo weird kasi siya yung pinakahuli nating ginawa. Pero technically, it would help us if we write it first. So that anytime we code the tokens, the lexers, the, the, the constants, we can check if it's working or not. So let's try to do that. Um, and it's it's relatively straightforward. It's just a forever loop that will try to um, so text is equal to input, and then um, now this is up to you. Um, I'm I'm just using this notation because for me when when I was doing this I was imagining that I'm creating really an, my own language and I want to name my language Nathan plus plus. Patterned after C++, pero yun nga, weird we're doing it in Python. But anyway, that's how I would want my prompt to look like. I'll save this muna, ha? and I'll use npp2.py um, and save it as a Python file. All right. So while true, um, we just receive, we'll, we'll try to receive an input from the user. And just at, at this point, let's just print it out to give the illusion of uh, the program responding to us. So if we try to go Python um, npt2 dot py oh, um, sorry indentation level oh really okay. sometimes I have this all right um, don't forget to use your tabs will that oh, sorry look at that line it's an indicator that the tab here is not correct okay it's okay. So tab, tab problem, CLS, Python, NPP2PY, and then we have it. There we have it. Um, what this does is if I have 4 plus 5, not quite Alexa yet. Uh, it just spits out what we um, put in. So put in. Um, so 1 spits out 1. If I have illegal characters, it just parrots it. Okay. Um, now that we have a driver fun uh, a driver uh, a runner we can go ahead and create our uh, um, our lexer and we we shall begin with um, I'll try to copy the the comment convention that I was using so here uh, we'll not start with digits that's the constant we I, I wanted us to start with tokens because conveniently that's also where we started right um, the creation of the tokens. And here, um, what I'll do is uh, we'll try to define this um, token. We we try to we try to um, the, when you're creating your language, this is up to you. But really, the if if you want your language to be able to handle int only, you know, by all means, you can do that. But right now, I I'll try to create the lexer such that it can handle ints and floats, and then all the operands that can go together with the processing of ints and floats. That includes plus, minus, divide, multiply, left parentheses, right parentheses, in order to um, set the order of operations. So we'll do that. And the way that I'll do that, which is you know following the convention of all other languages, um, I'll try to create, in books, they call it a uh, token type. So double Ts, but because it's my language, I'll use NTT, the Nathan token type. Yeah, let's create a comment. Nathan token types. Yeah. All right. And then this should be the one for integer. And then the only thing that it does is it takes an int. I'll save this Muna so that we can take advantage of Python's color coded scheme. So this is npp2.py. Ah, yes, I want to replace. Thank you. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I made a mistake. This is not NPP2. This is really the shell. Diba? Siya yung runner natin. I'm sorry. Shell2.py save as a Python file. Okay. Save. So we have shell.py. Yung Nathan++ library is where the logic of the tokens are located. So let's save this. Yeah, now we're now we're doing it right. So n 
pp2.view. Ayan. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Alright. There you go. So token types in. And then, uh, for, for the sake of making the video short, we will try to... Um, We'll try to think of other token types that we want to represent. So, sa akin, I'll, I'll just use control D ulit. Um, so, in, so we have float, we have um, plus, minus, times, divide, left paren, right paren. So, those are all the things we want to implement. I'll just copy the one that I prepared, okay, so that it's, it's easier here. So, all of these things are what I want to... Um, to represent as tokens and then we again the, the signature ntt um, okay all right L paren, R paren, and then int float minus plus minus multiply divide L paren, y paren. okay those are my token types and then it's finally time to implement class token Okay. And then in class token, in our token class, we try to have um, an initializer function um, that takes as its parameters the self and ito, sinulat natin ni. Eh. Um, it's a type and a value. Um, so, so technically, uh, I'm not sure how much Python you've already done. But since this is our this is our conceptual model, yung token may dalawang things, may dalawang params, it's the type and the value. Technically, I just need to use type and value, and I'm done, right? However, Python kasi has this system which it calls the self system, and the self is sort of like a keyword that binds all other variables inside the class together. Such that even if you belong to another function inside the class, you can still access um, the the variables that are belonging to other functions within the class. So essentially, for so long as you're in the class, you can access all variables using the self keyword, which is pretty nice. Uh, uh, it allows us to focus on the logic and principles of what we're trying to teach um, or learn, what we're trying to learn instead of you know the syntax. So just note that the self allows you to do that, the self. Now, I'm, th there's, a, there's a bit of a tweak that I will write here. First, I'll try to create an underscore or add an underscore to type because as you can see, type is a reserved word in the Python syntax, Python language. So this makes it unique. And then what we'll do is whenever I initialize, it's just the same as your um, Java getters so we say self dot type which is really the, the keyword that we want is gonna be equal to whatever type param you pass self dot value is gonna be equal to whatever value you want to pass and then um so that's done i do want to add um this one value equals none and that is to say um, and I'll just use notes so that when you download this and review it, you have something to go back to. Value does equals none because as I've explained here, we can have, because tokens can have a value or not. So, yung not, yung, yung, yung not is to take care of the situation where the value is none. But it will always have a type so we will never run into some kind of um uh, null null pointer exemption with the type but for the value we can because there are there are tokens like the plus symbol that have uh, a type but not the value which is why we do this okay now the other thing i wanted to show you was the def wrapper or the representation function which is uh just uh you can look at this as uh your 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 functions your function to have full control on how to display the object when the object is called 
with the object lang ah. Kasi when you 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 do have full control on how to di- to display the elements of your object. Pero if the object name lang is what's called, you'll end up with this hash memory printed on screen. Sometimes you don't want that, and actually for the purpose of parsers later on, we don't we don't want that. So we'll try to um, fix it here. Okay, uh, what do we want to do? Um, what I want to do is so um, I'll just return. Um, sorry, let me backtrack a bit. Here's a condition: if self dot value, yun. I want to check if my if my something's a value, if value is not empty. Because if value is not empty, then I want to return and I'll just use the the, the new print command of of Python. I want to return um sunny self dot type okay colon self dot value. That's what I want to return. Cool. And then if wala, then I just return ito, let me just copy here. Let me just return self.type without any more na value. Kasi we know na wala siya dun. Okay, great. Now for, for these types of programs, I just saved it control S. For these types of programs, what I'd like to do is um create a practice area um section just so I could test if the code I have so far is okay. And for this, I wanted to test if we can indeed create uh, an object of class token. So as we know, token DAO, when initialized, will try to ask you this, diba? So yun, yun yung e. Let's try to, um, uh, let's try to provide that. Um, kaso, um, note again that self is not something that we need to provide because it's just again Python's way of um, entangling all of the variables inside. Sorry, I should not be saying va- variables. It's just a way to um, for for each e- for elements to have access to all elements within the class. So we don't have to we don't have to provide that. Technically, there's no. There's no situation where you need to provide that at all. So the type, uh, we can do it brute force, sabi natin int, right? But this is sort of the reason why we instantiated this in the first place, our Nathan token type. So that instead of that, we can just use the token types here. Anyway, it's it's the type that we want to pass. And then value, you can just have your, your own values for it. So let me try and print A. And then I'll save this, um, get rid of the visual aids for a while, and then s- try to run python npt2.py to see if there are errors. We see that there's none, and we have printed out four. Now, it's printed nicely because we told it to print it nicely. Nandito siya, diba? Nandito siya. Four was the value, and since my value, this got propped. And so, um, uh, we, we see that it was displayed in a nice way. It's not always like that. Um, and to demonstrate, say, if I have a class Nathan that, um, class Nathan, def init um, self, and to keep it simple, parang RPG game na HP, SP, there. If I try to say self dot HP equals HP, self dot SP equals SP, and then I try to create a B uh, of type Nathan, provide an HP, provide an SP, <laughs> okay, mage type. And then we try to print B, uh, see if this, uh, if this runs there. Okay, this is what we get. Ito na ata yung... Um, what I wanted to show. If you do not have the representation function initialized, this is what you get. You will be returned a token. And um, especially when we go to parsers, as I've mentioned, if you will work with this, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. Which is why um, we use this. Okay, so we now have a token class. Now that we have a token class, we can now um, create your lexer. 
Yeah. Okay, sige. Next, sir. Ay. Lexer, alright. So let's try to create a class, Lexer, and then clear this muna. Let's let's look at our código. Lexer, we get a string. That's the intention. We get a string. We output tokens out of the string. Great. So class Lexer, and we we say um, of course we need to initialize it, and then it contains the self and the text that you want to lex. Yun. And then the first thing that it does, again, in, in the init function, all right, is it tries to self.text will be equal to text, and then the self.position will set it to negative one. The character, um, see the, sorry, let me just check for the order. The current character, yeah, so self.current character so these are things we're introducing they're not they're not initialized elsewhere the initialization happens here in the self so current car is equal to none and then self sorry self dot advance is what we need to call okay right um to explain this briefly during initialization we want to get the text as part of the lexer object and then set the position to negative one as i think i've explained a while ago aditya kasi we want we want this to point here that's the negative one and then self that current car because it's not enough for us to look at the index we also need to know where the index is currently pointing and then the call to advance in the initialization step makes it so that really it begins with the first because it's negative one yung instantiation and then you call advance advance just um moves the position one step to the right and with that said let's try to define what advance is self to connect it with the other elements inside the class and then what does it do well it does self position plus equals one again the, uh, yeah, the, the, the power of self Position was instantiated here, but we can reference it anywhere within the class. So yeah, diba? Pina advance natin siya using a function that's not inside the initialization. Technically, ang scope ni init dapat nandito lang, but because of the self, self, we can reference it anywhere. For for so long as the function that you define references the self, then you can access uh, everything. Okay. Plus plus equals one, and then again we it's not enough that we move the index, we also need to move where or the current character that the index is looking at. So self dot current character will be equivalent to self dot text self dot pos parang array diba. This is the whole word that we pass to Lexer. So whole word. And then this is the, the position, the, the index that's incrementing by one. At each step. Okay. Self dot text, self dot pause. If self pause is less than len of self dot text. Uh, pa ano lang? Uh, we we just need to check if we are in the end na. Kasi if the self position, the index is greater than the length, edi sobra ka na. Nandun ka, nandito ka na actually kapag nag greater than yun sa len. And so, kung nandun ka na, and then we well we just say none okay we, there's no there's no need to advance anymore cool and then we try to look at uh, or we arrive at the gist of the lexer class which is the make tokens um function self and then again the intention and dito siya make tokens it we we try to create uh, a list of tokens Kasi listahan yung lumalabas kanina sa output, di ba? When, when we run the the driver program, we input some kind of expression. It's a list of all tokens ang lumalabas. So we try to create tokens that's an empty list. We populate that and sometime later, we will need to return tokens. Okay. Um, and what happens in the middle? Well, Taking, taking advantage of the advance and, well, the initialization phase, what we can do is, and also taking, ad, taking advantage of um, 
this one kasi it means that it describes the limit it means that yung this one is none yung yung space dito sa before the numbers before the expression is none this is also none as we have described here so while self dot current car is not equal to none and um yeah sorry i think i think there's another check we need to do kasi if if while self dot current car is not equal to null we also have to check if ah hindi ba pala nasa make number pala yun got it great so while self current car is not equal to none what we can do is to iterate through the the characters um and here ang inuuna ko um whenever i have these things uh what i tend to prioritize first in the list are the spaces ito yan that's what i try to set first on uh parang it's it's what i try to process first in the creation of the tokens kasi it's very easy you ignore them you ignore the spaces because they're not needed so we say that if self dot current car is equivalent to a space or isama natin yung tab kasi sometime later when you're now creating a program diba you have tabs din and new lines uh so let's just say um if if current self self the current car is a tab or a space then what i wanted to do is to call to self dot advance okay that's what i wanted to do do nothing essentially else if if the self dot current car is equivalent to a plus function oh we, we're now defining every token we, we try to capture each of the tokens um we 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 will advance because we we need to advance it every time except when there's an error but before advancing we need to again again the the purpose of the make tokens you you create a token list and then return it so let's try to append tokens dot append um and then the 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 this one technically but since it's trying we're trying to produce tokens my my token class na rin naman tayo let's try to populate this token list with tokens with ele with objects of class token the one that we have yeah defined okay so how to do that exactly um let's try this token and then since it's since token will be asking for a type and a value and value can be none type lang na type na lang yung ibigay natin kasi we're dealing with the plus symbol diba ntt plus point all right and we need to sort of do this for all of the 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 operand tokens so kaya ko bang i mano mano plus minus times plus minus times plus minus times divide um l paren r paren okay plus minus and this should be a minus symbol multiply i keep saying times uh, but yeah it's closer to home but it's in books and several other examples you call it the multiply multed the numbers are multed by each other okay l paren and then r paren all right great self at advanced self at advanced blah, blah 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 okay so at this point we we now have sort of a lexer that could process just spaces tabs and then your operands uh i'd like to pause here and try to um compile this to see if it works and of course uh Try to see if we have errors. Oh, it seems that we have none. We can proceed with running the shell or running our driver shell two dot ty, and then wala pang numbers, diba? So if I place a one, um, it just oh sorry sorry, our shell has not yet been updated. Okay, great great. Sorry, um, we need to update the the driver the runner to already use 
this uh the 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 n plus plus library yeah let's try to let's try to do that very quickly so while true the first thing that we need to do is to say um hey please import n plus plus version two yeah and then we have something like this but instead of just printing it out directly what we need to do is to say um so we need npp2 to run in some way we want it to run the text but this run is something that we need to define um uh, i think this is a better way to go about it let's leave this muna unsaved and then here in the space before the practice area let's define the run yeah our runner and then uh the, the driver commands which is just a function def run so well self it's not a class <laughs> so we have def run and then it takes text and what we will do is to create a lexer object so ito, that's the that's the object that will receive an instantiation of the lexer class and then the text will be the text that got passed to it and then after that, since Lexer is now of type Lexer, so this Lexer object will now have attributes of this Lexer class, what we can do is um, Lexer can actually call make tokens. Yun. But we need to pass, parang, let's store this somewhere. Let's just call it tokens. Make tokens, and then we just return tokens. Cool. Okay. Now here, what we can do is, ayan na nga, npp.run, the text, whatever I input after this prompt is the text that gets passed on here. Diba? Kasi siya yung run function. Okay. And then it will make tokens, return the tokens. Once it returns, it returns here. Siguro, um, let's just call it result to be you know, general about it. Kasi nasa driver naman tayo. Let's call it result. And the result will hold whatever it is that gets run by Nathan++. And then after that, we can just print the result. Okay. Let's see if that logic works. Let's try to check muna if there are errors. So I'm checking for errors muna in the Nathan++ second version. No errors here. Perhaps we can try the shell2.py. Um, so it's executing beautifully. Um, let's try. Um, one should not. Uh, let's try what this what this does. Yun, it's an error. Because we we haven't yet, diba, In in our tokenizer, in our make tokens, we we don't have a support for numbers yet. So it's it's not gonna understand what we're trying to let it do yet. However, if this is our code, then this should already understand it that that's a plus okay so sige let's try to uh debug it says that on line 36 we the name self is not defined self okay uh, i like to wh whenever debugging these types of programs i like to start with the bottommost error because i find that it almost resolves all previous errors after fixing it so let's try to try it. let's try it again python one um should not return anything wala wala siyang alam the, the lexer goes uh so anong gagawin ko dito wala we did not instruct it to do anything yet but if we try to um give it a plus symbol it kind of should know what to do ayan may plus na siya meron ba siyang um support for uh left left parentheses l paren for minus for times divide yeah so those types of tokens it can already get our lexer is a little bit more intelligent now. okay let's let's clear this and then after that what we need to do is um since we want to complete our make tokens function i'll just put it here so self dot current car um ang gusto ko mangyari if number to 
right? If it's a number, if this is not a number, what should I do? And uh, a good way to to make sh- to implement that in a clean manner is to use again the helper constants that we have um, tried to outline here. So how will I do it exactly? Kaniyot na lang. So we have a token constants here. I'll just add a space to the top. We'll call this digits. Digits constant. And then sabi na lang natin the digits is really just a string composed of all numbers, one digit numbers, one digit numbers possible. Okay. So that's my digits. Kasi the the utility of having this is I can simply say here, I want to process the numbers. Well, if the current character that I'm looking is in digits, yan, naranta, kung, 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 kung nandun siya, it means that it's a number, um, then I can process it. But um, just complete this uh, digits plus uh, the, the period symbol, the dot, kasi nga, um, we, we, we're trying to, hello? All right, we okay. Camera is working again. <laughs> All right. So if it is, if this, if the current car character that we are trying to look at is in digits, then we just simply say, um, of course, we will try to advance the, the 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 position. But before doing so, we'll try to append the number to the tokens list. So append, and we have to. Um, so the way I, the way we approach this is just creating a make number utility function. The the thing that I've described here, you have to make number. Ito, this one. Okay, so let's try to do that. Let's try to create a make number function. Um, let's just place it inside the lexer padding. Okay, shift tab. All right, so def make number, and then we will try to. Sorry, I like to put it here. Okay, um, we'll try to take note of the string representation of the number as well as the dot dot count equals zero. All right, and again, the intuition is we want to count the dots so that when we find a dot then it's automatically a float. If we don't find a dot, then it's an integer. Okay, so while self dot current car is not equal to none, and, um, sorry, let, let me check the condition. Uh, while it's not, while self is not equal to null and is in the digits, I, I I, I forget that a lot. And self dot current character is in digits plus the, the the dot the decimal point. Then what we try to do is um, we check first if the self dot current car is equivalent car is equivalent to a dot. And if it is, that means that we will try to increment dot count by one, and we'll try to still take note of string num. We try to append the dot that we have just seen. Else, what we are trying, to, what we will do is to just take note of the str num, which is gonna be the value or which will receive. The value of the current character now yeah i failed to create an example but um here we do have to check muna if dot count is already equal to one because if it is we want to break and what is that corner case well that corner case is essentially ito kasi i, I used in to demonstrate in but we can have kasi 4.7 plus 19.2 there are two dots diba so this is dot number one this is dot number two if we don't have that check in line 85 then um 
it will it will it will try to create a number that has two decimal points we just want to create uh, for for a for a number to qualify as a float isa lang naman yung kailangan natin okay and then as per usual after all of this you want to you want to call the self dot advance method para umabante lang ulit yung pagprocess niya when it parang the make number when it spots a number it just tries to advance it um until it can get the whole uh the whole um until it can get the representation of the whole number um sige I'll, let me explain it a bit more ha kasi dito halimbawa the the make number will only trigger if it sees a number halimbawa ito ito na lang 4.7 ito so if I'm here, then I'll try to populate str sum, str sorry, str num. So str num is four, and then if I look at the dot, and um, if I if I look at the dot, then I I increment the dot count, and then I and then I still take note of the dot as a uh, as a character. If I try to um, loop again because I'm not yet finished, note that this will continue until self current car is equal to null, meaning nasa pinakadulo na siya, or if self current car is in digits plus the dot. Uh, very clever na hindi dito kasali yung spaces kasi the spaces are a mark that you will stop. So I can get 4, I can get the dot, I can get 7, and then when I receive the space, oops, wala na siya dito. So you will not anymore run this. You have essentially gotten the number as a whole. Yeah. And that's what you pass to str now. Okay, so self.advance. Great. Now, um, once we're done processing, it's now time to check if the dot count is equivalent to 1. Diba? One dot float. So we have to return. Ano, ano yung i-return ni make number? Ang ini-expect dito, we're, what we're expecting here, is some kind of token. Diba? We're trying to create a token. So let's try to return a token as well. So return a token. And this is uh, the Nathan token type float. Yeah. And then the value is the float rendition of our str num the the this one the the variable that we're trying to populate else we return um token but this time ntt int float str num okay great 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 so i think I think this should work. Uh, at this point, we should be able to create the. Yeah, at this point, we should be able to create the numbers. We'll see. Let me try to um, hide this again, and let's try to see if we have errors in the code. It seems that there's none. Let's check during runtime if there are errors. 2.py and then uh, of course we know that this is working already this is working already but if it's a number one okay there um bound lexer maker number okay oh great right 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 because we haven't um this one make number um, it's, it's, tama, tama, sorry. Look at the difference this makes. Uh, if I'm right, I mean, if I'm right in what I think the error is. We forgot the call to, we forgot the call to the function. So make number is a function, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that should be what's up. Try to clear this again and try to run it again. Shell and then one there okay um we have one but int uh 
Well, it's an int, but why did it? Why did you make it a float? Sorry. Ah, I think we have something here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another error. Don't make it a float. Please give me the integer type of the int that I created. Okay. Clear. And then Python shell 2. Okay. Round 3. There you go. We have int 1. We, we fed it 1. It gives us int 1. Um, we'll try a float. 12.5. It gives us a float. We'll try 1 plus 2. 2 ints. 1 plus 2. We will try um, ano ba? 2 floats. 11.1 .1 plus 4.5. 11.1 plus float 4.5. Okay, um, and we are essentially done. Okay, now, um, so that you have something to do, <laughs> I would want you to recreate, and you've you've sort of you've sort of seen how how this was created in in the um, at the start. You you've you've seen the code. It's just a matter of um, trying to inject it into the drivers and creating your error classes so um given this uh, I, i'll i'll let you see it again given this how can you how can you incorporate this into the the npp2 the the nathan plus plus code so that whenever i do something like 4.5 5 plus f it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't know how to handle that okay so for for now uh let me try to run the original um npp version 1 the nathan plus plus version 1 so python npp sorry shell.py not shell 2 shell 2 is the one that we have been coding in this video shell 1 is the one that i prepared prior that has the error trapping uh, mechanism ready so here if i try to go 5 plus f as you can see it can give me that there's an illegal character that the illegal character is f i don't know how to process that the lexer says ah di ko kaya ano yan right try to give it this functionality is what is the task for you um from now until the next time we meet okay and then um ano pa ba? Uh, so yes i think that's it so i've tried <laughs> yeah we'll end there um i've tried to again just as a summary um we've tried creating a lexer so meron na tayong medyo intelligent na lexer composed of 100 105 lines of code but it's now intelligent enough to tokenize um, the things that we need in order to um, create or in order to deal with parsers. Let me check. Last check lang ha, kasi um, Python and then shell 2.py and then um, how about this? Left parenthesis 1 plus 2 plus 3 times 3. Okay. L paren in 1 plus 3 multiplied by in three okay now i i told you earlier that um parsing this uh creating a parser means creating something that could describe the behavior of the tokens the behavior design uh sorry the behavior you desire for the tokens to take this is sort of what i mean because um normally uh when when you have three times three this would take precedence but since you have specified parentheses then it should be able to evaluate that first before multiplying to three and that is something that the parser does but for now we have the necessary list of tokens needed for that parser behavior to be created okay Sige. so i leave you with that again the task is um nasana yung shell two ah shell two pa rin ito. 3 plus 1, we know that it works, but you want to trap illegal characters like this. We're currently our version 2 of the Nathan++ does not work. When you're implementing this, please call your language your own language. Uh, Mag-isip naman kayo <laughs> sa akin yung Nathan, sa akin yung N++. 
try to um, create your own version of a programming um, language then. something that's uh, that speaks of you all right so that is it I'll try to end the video here I'll upload this and then uh, pl please enjoy please enjoy the long weekend and I'll see you on Monday for further discussion pag usapan natin ito come Monday during the face-to-face. -face. Thank you. Ending it now. Bye.